Welcome to this screencast in Mocha and Chai and how we should use Mocha and Chai framework in unit testing our Node.js applications. I am Ishwar Prasad Yadhanapodi and in the previous class we have seen how we could, how we could get Mocha and Chai libraries for, as the unit testing frameworks in our workspace. Then we have seen how we could, why should and how we should install Mocha as a global dependencies. As discussed in this screencast we will talk about using Mocha and Chai as BDD style of unit testing rather than TDD style of unit testing that many people out there talk about. The advantage of having BDD style of unit testing is that the unit test cases are more readable and the unit test cases cover the required business uh, the business scenarios rather than just pure code that we as a developer write about. So in the previous screencast we have just seen a single line of code that we have written as our unit test case where there is a name and the unit test case expects that the name that has been sent to the function has to be written as is and we have went ahead and said mocha just simply mocha to run our unit test cases and we have also seen that whatever that we have whatever unit test cases that we have in our workspace have all to have should all be in in the same in a, in a file called test or should be under a folder called as test otherwise mocha is not going to find your unit test cases and run them so if we could see on the screen our unit test case the describe that is like we are grouping things together so my first unit test and it has a unit test case that says returns the name passed to the function and it has passed in 32 milliseconds for the convenience i have written one more function here we'll go ahead and write few more test cases before we finish off uh, the understanding of basics of mocha and chai as our unit test framework in the current screencast so in my current uh, workspace i have added one more uh, function that says add the number to itself so what what exactly what essentially does this function do is it, it adds up the number that we have passed to itself and sends it back to us so I write a describe why I have chosen to write another describe is because I want say in the previous screencast as we discussed if there are two classes say one employee and the other one is salary so we try to write unit test cases for an employee in one particular describe section and then all the unit test cases pertaining to the salary class in another describe statement so thus the, we, we try to make the difference uh, differentiate the unit test cases from one another so I'll say okay I want to group all my math operations into one section so one math operation describe function math operations okay so that's how I oh sorry write it then I have my function as the callback then it has another it a statement that defines my defines what my test case is gonna do so we'll say this returns the returns a number a value sorry a, a value that is by adding the same number we sent as input you can put it as long as what you want uh, because we are writing BDD st style of unit test cases and our statement of the unit test case by itself should explain and help the uh, viewer understand what exactly this is doing so try to put as try to put statements that are as explanatory as possible and, and as detailed as possible but don't run into paragraphs that's my advice so what I should do is call the method add number to itself and I'll pass a number 5 that should be should equal should equal 10 alright I'll save it I'll go back to the console I'll say mocha uh, so we had an error uh, let's go and see what happened with our test case 
oh so this is a typo here so it should be written rather than returns because returns is not defined so we'll get back to our unit test case and run it again so it's mocha and yes we see that our math operations section has one unit test case and it has passed so returns a value that is by adding the same number we sent as an input so we'll see one more unit test case we'll say function fuNC function uh, function uh, is even okay so I have my num value say input value input number or input value and then I'll say return uh, okay I'm sorry input value percentile to equals to equals to equals to zero then I'll come over and write another unit test case describe why should we read a describe we can cover all of them in one one single roof that's math operations so it should return true if the input number is divisible by two and takes function as the callback and I'll say uh, is even with pass four and should equal true. Okay, and quickly go and write our run our unit test cases and it's passing. So that's how we categorize our unit test cases like grouping our unit test cases so this is a one group where it is first unit test the other one is math operations if you have any other like operating on strings operating on uh, uh, like any other thing you can put them all together so in the next screencast we'll see how we could uh, uh, exclude few of the unit test cases and include few of the unit test cases and we'll see how to exclude a particular section of the unit test cases like the math operations or the first unit test case and then we'll see how we could stop one of the unit test cases inside a grouping or using a describe function thanks for joining I'll see you soon